Hey guys, I Abhishek welcome all of you to this my amazing YouTube channel. As you know, this channel is sponsored by Newton School. Okay, basically powered by. Okay, so let's know something about Newton School. So Newton School is a great, great platform for tech, which not only help you to uh, like, of course, train you, but not only it's help you in training, but also help you to get placed after your training is over. So basically, it's a six month course which guarantee you a job placement of over five lakhs or more. Okay, five lakhs is a minimum package, and the best thing is you only have to pay. Once you get placed with a package of five lakhs or more, that's great. So let's get started. But before I get started, just I add to need to add one point that in case if you are interested, looking for placement, looking to learn and see more opportunities, we are having a new batch, the January batch. So in case if you are interested, do check out our uh, like what is the description sections where the details are given. Do give, give us a call or a mail, and we are sure to help you out. Okay. Now let's get started with recursion. So here we are with the third video of recursion. As you know, our my video is in such a way that you can start and stop anywhere. Doesn't matter. First video, second video, third video. Doesn't matter. Okay. But if you watch it in order, what will be the benefit? You understand it quite well. As simple as that. Okay. So now let's create the third problem. So recursion problem three. Recursion P3 Problem 3. So, in case if you, uh, this is the first video you are watching, this is a recursion series in which what we are doing currently we are just understanding recursion. So, I am taking few problems and we are analyzing it. So, if a recursion problem is given to you, you can basically understand it. Okay, this helps you in two ways. Of course, you can understand recursion. Number two, it can help you to think like once you understand something then only you'll be able to think in that respect right that is how it helps you and then we'll sure we'll do some problems and we'll understand it okay so here we are awesome of course not plain text okay so i am as again let me repeat again i am choosing javascript it's because the syntax is quite simple but irrespective of the language, you will basically be able to do in your particular language, not a problem. I'm just showing it to choosing JavaScript because the syntax is like almost familiar with all the language. In all the language, you can basically do in the same type with few here and there changes, the syntax changes. Okay. Don't worry if you are from any language, you'll basically understand it. Okay. Function. Okay. So let me give a program. Let's suppose print numbers. I like this name, right? <laughs> At every place I take this name. Okay. Not this. That's one. Okay. So if n is equal equal zero, I will say return empty. Awesome. Mm, else what I'll do? I will do let's suppose console. So what is console look like? It's basically print in your particular language. How do you print it? Totally <coughs> your choice. And then finally, I'll call print numbers and minus one. So I'm not implementing any logic, I'm just giving you a problem and then we'll analyze it. Console.log and minus one. Perfect. Awesome. If I call this, let's suppose print numbers on three, what will I get it? Totally up to you. So, what you can do, you can pause at this point and try the video. In case you have not watched my previous video and you want to give the answers and you are not able to give, Make sure go and check out my previous two videos on the same playlist, okay? And you can basically understand, okay? What is recursion? So if you go to the channel recursion playlist, is there, you can check out the videos. First video is an intro video, then next two videos are two problems. This is a third problem, okay? Okay, so uh, how do we understand it? We basically have two ways. So let me bring my digital pen. Okay. Step number one is the recursion way. But at this point, guys, in case if you are finding out do let me know the answer in comments so that i can see and those whose answers are correct no cheating okay after telling but you don't need to put the comment only at this point you need to put the comment okay pause the video and put the comments okay guys so now let's have a look so let's first check out the stack method so this stack method no 
so step number one so i'm taking the name of the function as p like sort form so p3 this is the first thing that is part in case if you don't understand this well you'll understand it but in case if you watch the first and the second video it will be more clear so i'm taking this step from the first video this is more college stack method okay so n is three so what will be printed this three will be printed so let whatever is printed i'm writing it here line number six is printed line number seven so you can say p2 because I don't know the value of P2. So until I know the value of P2, I cannot proceed ahead. So once I know the value of P2, I'll come to line number eight. Then I'll calculate P2 and say, yep, obviously. Then the value of N is two, N is two, okay. Means like you'll put two in the function. Again, like if things like, if I'm calling something again, that simply means you have to go and put the value of N minus one, which is N is two here. So two here, okay, and then calculate normal then 2 will be printed and p1 and then again i am here with line number 8 means line number 8 once the value of p1 i know i go need to go to line number 8 that is pending that is what that it, it means okay now p1 now for p1 again one will pass one will get printed awesome and then this is n is equals to 1 it will look for value of p0 right i'll say yep it will look for the value of p0 once i find p0 i'll return to line number eight and finally p0 p0 is a chill guy right it has to do nothing it has to return empty n equal to zero so nothing is returned okay so nothing is returned so now i'll come to line number eight console.log n minus one remember i am printing n minus one so what is the value of n you will say one so console.log n minus one will give you zero zero now i come here this work is over so p1 what does p1 return it did not return you zero it basically returned you nothing because return is nothing this is just printer no there is no return okay so return is nothing line number eight so what is happening in line number eight console.log n minus one what is the value of n two so two minus one is one so one is printed perfect this is also done no return nothing means i was just waiting for a time pass okay line number eight console.log n minus one n is three so two is printed that's been three two one zero one two this is basically your answer right using the stack method in case if you have any confusion or if you're not able to understand just look at the previous two videos you'll basically understand okay okay guys and in case if you are looking for uh like what do you say three method it's quite simple so this is like what do you say p3 now p3 will be have three branches right it will first print three then it will have p2 and then it will print two okay p2 will be like two p1 and then it will be like one will be printed as it is okay p1 will be one this will be p0 and zero will be printed now how do how will you get the answer from the top no three is the answer then two then one then zero then one and then three. right got it three two one zero one two perfect so in case let's suppose i run it i should get the same answer right three two one zero one two right perfect so i hope you guys understood this problem so these are the basics problem we are just doing so that your concepts get clear once your concept get clear so we'll do much more amazing problem with the question okay great guys so this is perfect any more doubts anything do let me know in the comments and please like and subscribe my channel and also share it among your friends in case if you find this video interesting do let me know do let me know if you need any other content that i need to make you or you have some uh, problem in certain topics okay so i'll make a playlist which is a general playlist in, in which i'll just make videos regarding your doubts okay so anything let me know okay guys that's all see you tata bye bye